So, I went out and I bought a copy of the London Review of Books, and this is Alan Bennett, godfather of British post-war comedy's idea of a good review of me. Lee, mate, stand up. Oh. Yeah, I've not wasted the last two years. No, I've, been, I've been learning all the impressions, all the, all the different impressions. Alan Bennett, all the impressions. <laughs> Lee, mate, stand up. Almost a moral pursuit. Predicting an audience's reaction or lack of reaction <laughs> to his material in a way that makes other stand ups seem obvious. He's fearless, undeterred by an audience's failure to respond. Irving Goffman would have liked Stuart Lee. What's that? Who's Irving Goffman? What does that mean? Irving Goffman would have liked Stuart Lee. That's a quote for the poster, isn't it? That old Packerman at the Bradford Alhambra. It's austere stuff. Stuart Lee is the J.L. Austin of comedy. <laughs> J.L. Austin, Irving Goffman. Irving Goffman would have liked Stuart Lee. I googled Irving Goffman, right? Irving Goffman is the most influential American sociologist of the 20th century. His major areas of study include the sociology of everyday life, social construction of self, social organisation of experience, and particular elements of social life, such as institutions and stigmas. And he would have loved me, wouldn't he, Irving Goffman? <laughs> He'd have been flailing around in a tsunami of his own urine by now. <laughs> Stuart Lee is the J.L. Austin of comedy. Right, J.L. Austin was a British philosopher of language, perhaps best known, if at all, <laughs> For the theory of speech acts, Austin's work ultimately suggests that all utterance is the doing of something with words and signs challenging a metaphysics of language that would posit propositional assertion as the essence of language and meaning. And I'm the hymn of this. <laughs> I'm the hymn of this. And if you've come along here tonight, hoping to see two and a half hours of the kind of J.L. Austin influenced stand-up that Irving Goffman would have loved. Then you go fuck off, because it's not gonna be that easy, you fucking idiots. This is the kiss of death, this Alan Bennett review. <laughs> this is worse, isn't it, than reports of sharks falling from the skies and on the rocks again, and nobody on the eastern seaboard is safe. I hate Alan Bennett. <laughs> what a weird, creepy old red-faced man, isn't he? 